Hey guys, this is the last session of our winter seminar. In these sessions, I'm going to grab up what we learned so far. And the way I thought to do it this time, it was to make a sample project which cover areas from each of the seminars. So uh, why? And well, so the reason it's about what I think is the best. So in my case, I learn through examples and uh, theoretical lectures are not that easy. So in this seminar, uh, I'm gonna have a small theoretical part, but it's gonna be short. And then rest of the part, it's gonna be a challenge to develop uh, software. It's quite simple, but within 30 minutes. So I will have to use a good design uh, I'm going to use test driven development at uh, TDD and I'm going to use a uh, software manager like building manager auto tools we cover about that it's going to be very stable free of bugs and lastly we're going to publish it in github so I think I cover what we talked so far I'm going to use the tools like uh, editors and GCC and other things that we covered so far. So yeah. So yeah, that's uh, my the plan of this seminar. And the scope, as I said, uh, we're gonna start with the requirements, the most important parts. Make sure that we understand. We make a plan uh, how we're gonna develop it, and then we made a design. We prepare our setup. We are building tools, versioning, and, pu and publishing. So, what's the our example project? So, here's the thing. I uh, I want it to be something simple because I don't want you to focus on the code itself, but more in how I make it. So, it's a simple software. Uh, the that it should be a software which sorts arrays. And it should use two different algorithms, but it should be extended. What I mean, at the moment, I'm going to do for two of it, but it should be able to add more algorithms very simply. And yeah, that's the main point. It should be easy to maintain and to extend. And it should be very stable. Uh, well, 100% bug free. It's impossible to say, but relatively stable. And no memory leaks. We cover about how to find out. And well packaged. This part is for auto tools and gits. And yeah, we should publish in the GitHub. And important parts within 30 minutes. Uh, so we can enjoy doing that and take longer, but well, let's try to reduce the time that we do it. And being efficient, it's good. It feels good and you got to do more and you got to be involved in better projects. So, sorry, my friends, they want to go out. So, which workflow are we gonna follow? So let's think about the, this thing. So it's within 30 minutes. It's only one developer and it's relatively simple. So in my case, what I normally do for this, is like, like a typical assignment for like a second year, first year, second year. And I normally follow a TDD, a test driven development. So it works like this. Before I write any code, uh, I write the tests and the interface for the classes I'm gonna use. So the interfaces, they have a definition. Well, there's a header file, there's a CPP file. So a CPP file, it has a function names, but they do nothing. So obviously the test at first, it's have to fail. It's mandatory. And then uh, we make it work. We make all the tests to work. And then once it's working, we refactor. So after refactoring, you might... So what I mean by refactor is so you might have find a solution, but you want the code to be more sophisticated and in the sense that uh, it's easy to maintain 
and not to be hard to read. So you do that, so you modify the code, and maybe, again, you fail your test. So you have to fix what you have done. And then once it's fixed, if you need to refactor, refactor one more time, and then you follow the loop. And then you do it until you reach a certain level of good, well refactor and well debug. So this step is quite important. We already covered in one of the in the workflow. Uh, sorry, uh, project management frameworks. And yeah, so we will you will see how it works. And so about our design, we need to come up. We are using object-oriented programming, so we need to come up with a nice uh, design and simple. Uh, as I said, we don't want to spend much time on that. So here's the thing: we have n algorithms which perform the same task in high level, and uh, we have a test unit and a main unit. What is the main function? And yeah, so the main unit call the algorithms, and we it have to be extendable, and in a way that uh, we reduce dependency as much as we can, uh, so that by the time that we want to add a new algorithm, it you don't have to modify your previous code. Uh, think about a situation: ten people working in the code, so whatever they add, you want them to not to create dependencies, right? So design patterns, for sure, which of them? I'll give you 10 seconds. Well, uh, this is the answer. Strategy pattern, the only one that we've studied so far. <laughs> So this is a review from the third seminar. Sorry, fourth seminar. So uh, a strategy pattern, it's a pattern which abstracts a family of algorithms which does the same thing. And it's reduced dependency. And so so that it makes it easy to add new algorithms. So the, uh, this a strategy patterns, if you haven't watched the video before, it looks like this. Uh, you have a class which uh, has the method of, of the, the algorithm that you want to uh, extend. And then uh, you have some classes which inherits from the strategy class and override the method. It's a polymorphic class. So the context class, in our case, our main, main function, kind of like that, uh, it's it has a pointer for this strategy, but in the interface, it has no dependency toward two concrete strategies. So as you add more and more strategies, this one doesn't know about that. So you don't have to add more includes. And well, it's a nice design. I I I, I guess that maybe you can see why. So if we translate the design this design pattern to our case. We need to add a little changes. It's always like that. This is a design pattern. It doesn't mean that your code will exactly look like this. This is one section of your code. So this is what I thought. So we have array generator, which uh, you put an array, and then you can sort it. And then uh, this array has a pointer for a sort, sort algorithm class. And that pointer, depending how it was initialized, uh, it can be insertion sort or selection sort. And then the, we have this is like two parts in the test binary. This one doesn't exist. So we only had this one. It means that uh, the main test function has a object instance of every generator. And on the other hand, uh, for the uh, normal binary, let's say like uh, the production binary, the main function contains array generator. And yeah, that's pretty much. So, well, if you have a question about that, just leave a comment and I will reply your question. So our tool, our setups. So 
we need some tools to do this, right? Or to do it fast somehow. So Tmax. And we know our Tmax. Uh, it's this terminal multiplexer that it makes you your terminal looks like a Google Chrome with the tabs. So we're gonna have three tabs. One for the editor, BIM, second for the build uh, folder. So we're gonna keep doing make check and make check to check if the tests are working. And the last one is for Git. So every time we do some little improvement, we commit, so we keep track of what's going on. And we back up the code. You don't want to lose your, your job, your work. You're not gonna lose your job. <laughs> and a special mention to BIM editor. Uh, I'm not using a normal, well, the default v BIM. I'm adding some extension that we already covered before. So Nerd tree to navigate the files, sort eyes for a very good for very beautiful uh, style. Fugitive to manage it through the BIM. We also have the tab for that, but sometimes it's good. Control P to move from one file to the other file very quickly. Snippets to code faster. And autocomplete to, it's again, code, code faster and not to go to the documentation whenever we forgot some, something. So let's see the time. OK, 11 minutes. So what more tools we're gonna use. Uh, we're gonna use auto tools for sure. And GCC with C++ 11 supports. Uh, this is important. It's, it, it, it looks quite different, but uh, we wanna use some, some features that it's only in C++ 11. At the same time, GDB, uh, in case that we encounter a bug, and mandatory bug ring at the end. Even though we cannot see a bug, we need to figure out about memory problems. And more tools, Git and GitHub. For the sake of making fests, uh, I'm gonna start by making a repository. Uh, for all of you who haven't watched the Git and GitHub seminar, I highly recommend it to go through it. Uh, my seminars are normally be very long. It's a part of the program that I'm following, so that's the reason. But uh, if you, you might find some, well, you can see the scope and then go to the minutes where I explain certain things. So uh, just very briefly, Git uh, lets you save your files and different versions very easily. And you can do cool things. You can work with people. And then GitHub is like a website for Git. So you can publish your code. It's like a social network as well. So it's it's really good to back up the code and to make it public. So I'm going to make a repository first. Hey guys, uh, I'm back in the screen. Uh, I had to stop. There was some problem with my mic microphone. So okay, let's uh, let's make the GitHub repository first of all. So we go to GitHub and new repository. I'm gonna make it public. I'm gonna call it Winter Seminar. Uh, already there. <laughs> Interseminar projects. And then description, uh, I don't, not important. So, now SSH, okay, good. So we got the same, we got the repository here. Let's open a terminal and let's start coding. So, uh, I already prepared, so I'm not cheating, <laughs> but I already prepared the source code for insertion and selection sorts. You can have a look. Uh, it's fairly simple, so it wouldn't be 
Because it's not a thing about making the code, it's the thing about how I make it, right? Well, it's not about how the code looks like, it's about how you manufacture the code. That's the seminar about. So, uh, I'm gonna make a folder where I'm gonna clone this GitHub repository. And, oh, well, I, I have to first create the first seminar. Uh, and then, so first thing first, let's initialize Git. Let's hide this. And we need to make few files. Uh, we can already add this one. And we, this is our design. So we need, uh, I wish there was zoom. Anyways, so we have a test, main test, and we have a main function, and we have a, which is a file as well. And then array generator, we have the Dutch A, that age and the header file and definition file and we had a sort algorithm header and we had the header for insertion sorts and selection sorts so let's create all of those and plus make file that am configure that ac auto gen that sh which for the sake of making fast i'm gonna copy from the Previous session. Ah. Configure that AC here. And then make file. <coughs> sorry. Make file that AM in here as well. And out to the end. That one, it's the most. Stage here. So I got those ones and then. I'm gonna create main test that cc. I like cc. I don't like cpp actually. It's but it's my taste. You can write the way you like. Uh, and then array array generator. It's not a very appropriate name, but well. And array generator. Uh, cc and then sort algorithm. H, 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 in C++, and insertion source, that's H, H, insert, source, that's CC, selection source, that's H, H, selection source. See, here we are. So it's very overkill. You can make it in a single file, but the point is to make it uh, extendable. So that's what you get. And then now, very firstly, I'm gonna modify our make file to include all those files. So we have our main that cc, and then control x, control f, and we want this one, we want sessions, we want all the CC here. We don't care about the HH. Selection. Oh yeah, that's all we got. And this is not a feature. These are array sorts. We're gonna call it like this. Array sorts. Sources. And we also have our test. Um, maybe in test. Well, I think it was test for us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a sort test, right? And then 
tests will have the same source sources as our it's same as this one but this the main function function change and yeah that that, that that's it we have this thing yeah i think that, that that's how we are that's that's it oh yeah yeah, yeah. this one in test so very firstly control p we gonna make our sort algorithm first my ones uh class sorts algorithm that was a, a snippets uh we don't have an argument here we want to keep it simple and uh, it's and yeah we want a virtual instructor and then we had this class which is sorts uh and then we we have an integer array uh, we don't define here zero virtual and size we need size uh it's not a good idea to make an integer but let's refactor part and then i don't like this uh, yeah not yeah now i'm satisfied it looks good enough and we have no dependency Okay, now we go to the insertion folder, and then we have to include our sort algorithm. And then we create our class, insertion sort, which inherit from sorts algorithm and then we we override our our sorts so our sort was a void int uh, we don't care about the int and then the argument and then override here we are uh i think that i missed something in the previous one yeah yeah, yeah. i i missed the return earlier so so far so good let's go to our selection sorts so same thing uh we include uh the pragma ones uh sort algorithm yeah here we are then selection sorts and then public sort algorithm and we don't have an argument here it's actually we can remove this one uh we make a default same thing for the previous one void sorts here pointer integer and we override right and then we remove this one and yeah same thing here we don't need this one and yeah we need to define somewhere so we make a default so the previous one works the same as doing like this. It's your choice. We can have two of them. And so we don't win the interface in here and we go to array generator. So same thing. Yeah, I just remembered I forgot to put it here. Selection. Oh yeah. And then we include. So here's the thing: the include is what it tells you the dependencies. So array generator only depends on sort algorithm. 
that's HH. And class array, array generator. So I'm trying to go very quick because uh, we don't need any of it actually. And we have our assign because we're gonna have our protected. Uh, array which it's gonna be a pointer we're gonna refactor later so our assigns it has uh, integer pointer and then our sorts it will return the shouldn't return it okay uh I'm gonna change the design, so I'll, I'll keep it like this. So sorts will return the array. Okay, so we're done with this one, and now our test, main test. Uh, main test simple. Main test include our array generator and then main. Uh, here we can use std uh, include uh, IO stream. Okay, so our array makes uh, our. Okay, so we have two arrays and we call A. And. Which is going to be. Maybe okay. Let's let's pull like randomly. It's a uh, one to five, one to six, and then every generator or a g a g assign a, and then the size. Well, actually, I need to change that. We got six elements and ag sorts, and we're gonna get a pointer, pointer of array, and then the pointer actually pass here, and we we then compare both of them. So for y equal to zero, y less than uh, six, and y plus plus, and then if p of y is different than p of, uh, the, then we have the compare the one to compare it's one to six, one, two, three, three, four, five. Oh, I'm throwing the keyword. Oh, yeah. And then semicolon, semicolon. And then we return minus one. So it's pretty solid. It's very solid. And so this one. Gonna be okay, and this one it's gonna be a pointer. So we don't really need to specify anything here. Just a will be shifted, and we don't need a second pointer. So we can change that part. Is array meter. Yeah, it doesn't matter because uh, 
same pointer, so it's fine. Okay, so we go bottom somehow, and we now do CC parts. So I open two windows and I write generator one side, the other side I write generator not CC. And then this one includes our array generator not H and it's it, it's a constructor with a need array generator assign uh, it's a trivial call uh, I'm gonna make it one line is array well p and then sort uh, we also have a uh, I forget about this I so we have a okay so we need a constructor and the constructor will have an argument and depending if it's one to three we'll choose different uh, uh, next saying so in here we actually have to include uh, our insertion sorts and selection sorts, right? So if we make a switch, or index, and then if in case uh, it's one, I know it's not a good design, but and then we have our strategy, which is gonna be called uh, sort algorithm name. Oh. Yeah, sorts. So we have a sorts algorithm. Sorts. So let's call it algorithm. And then in case one, our algorithm, it's equal to a new insertion sorts. Just like that. And then if case two, it's a Selection sorts, and then we free uh not free. We delete our algorithms. And yeah, that's it pretty much. Then we need to change our test code. So we need to specify A1 at first. And then this part is done. Huh. So now we move to our implementations. Uh, insertion sorts. And then it's other. Uh, include this so we just sorts sorts we have our array and we have this ends our size and we don't return anything So I already have the source code for this one. It's uh, in here, fairly simple. So 
so yeah uh that's that's it that's all there we have n and we have array so we go in this part and then we're gonna have for selection sorts selection so we're gonna include our so you know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna copy space and then i'm gonna change uh insertion by selection and then same thing with capital and yeah that's i have this part here and uh let's see how long it's taking of 22 minutes we're running out of time <laughs> so open a window go down and go to selection source and yeah i had the swap i think that do they have swap swap uh, the library, I think. Sorry, I need to check this one. Uh, STD swap. Algorithm one. Okay. So I have to do STD here. I catch this one very quick. Algorithm. So yeah, that that's it for now. Now we're ready to go. For sure, there are gonna be some bugs and problems, but. Let's compile. Here, something fishy here. Okay, let's see. Oh, I forgot to open Tmax. So before everything, we gonna add everything. All. Oh. We're gonna do our first commits. And now we're gonna change the configure. Well, so first things first. And the name of this one, uh, not session, sorry. This one is gonna be BIM. This one is gonna be build. This one, it's gonna be source. So here's BIM. And for build, I'm going to make a folder right next to our folder called build. And from there, I'm going to be and then configure. We have everything here. And well, we just need to change the name. And our name is going to be winter projects. And we're working with the version 0 0.01. And I'm going to put my name here. So I'm afraid we're going to have many bugs, but time to go. SH autogen first time first. Uh, I need to look at the call for test. You know, this is the thing about the tools. Uh, it's quite complex and you get to forget things. So yeah, check 
Let's check. And then, yeah, tests. It was this one. And then everything else is the same. Yeah, now it's good. So from build, we call our inter seminar project configure. And we prefix right here. And then we make check the menu again. Okay. So yeah, now it's time to debug. And selection sorts, got selection sorts. Selection sorts, I forgot semicolon here. And then second problem. Uh, definition of, of implicit declare array generator. Nothing with the destructor of, of array generator. Oh yeah, of course I didn't declare the destructor. And then uh, there's no typing this typo assign. <laughs> and P was not declared in this sorts. Let's do this one. Algorithm. Sorts uh, array size. Yeah, I forgot something here. <laughs> so I need the size of the array and I need the size here. You don't need to write this, but just to make it clear, I do. Okay, this one is time to make a few lines. So yeah, I guess. Okay, we're very close, and now we in selection sorts. Selection sorts. Something with a, yeah, because it's array. So, a. And we are missing sort algorithm. Uh, It will work. Why it's our main function, but apparently we're trying to make checks. Uh,
Okay, so we need our main. Uh, the main. We don't need it at the moment, but let's you know, do this one. Let's, let's go happy. Okay. So. And I follow him in tests. Typo here. Oh, we passed the test. <laughs> Can you believe it? Wow. So this is for the test one. And then for the test two. So normally, uh, <laughs> it's not like that. So let's call it B and then B and then B. Again, number two. So, well, I'm going easy with the names, but we have the refactor part later. So, oh, we pass it. So we pass both of the tests. So now we can happily. So we didn't get any new file. I mean, important one. So we can just get at you. And then get commit. Uh, it's passed the tests. And now time to refactor. How, how long do they have? Uh, around five minutes to go. Okay, so very quick refactor. So this one looks fine, and uh, this one looks fine. And this one, this one is fine as well. A generator, this one we can. So yeah, what's what's going on with this one? It's uh, yeah, I have uh, virtual destructor. It makes a lot of sense because I define. I don't make an instance of that class. Oh yeah, what a stupid thing. Yeah. And hmm. But yeah, that's what refactor it's all about. <laughs> you have to May you call consistent. Yeah, that was the way to go. And this one defaults. Uh, so yeah, what about the main file? So main file. Yeah, main file does nothing in this case. We just like a same as the test. So you have a a pretty fine. And then maybe you want to read the option. Uh, we don't need the okay. selects one kind of sorts insertion. insertion.
and this one is up and then finally for let's use our snippets uh, size see how it's Yeah. You're not using any other thing. So, here you go. Yeah, let me let me call on. Yeah. And here I miss to declare type and array generator, of course, I have to include. There you are. And then if I make install, uh, I have a binary and then I can run collection sorts one two three four and okay let's make it cool so I'm gonna install in my actually for all the users in my computer so I'm gonna run again configure and I'm gonna put a prefix in user folder it's a local Okay, I had to sudo. And look at this. Ha! Huh. From every folder. I have it there. Good, right? And then I can uninstall as well. So now there is nothing. <laughs> yeah. So I think that we're done with the refactor. Uh, maybe main tests. There was something fishy here. Uh, well, not really. It's a test. You have to be dirty. Uh, yeah, that's it. So now we're ready to say... I w we could refactor more, but... What did we change lastly? Okay, good. Git's uh, add you. Git's commit message. It is totally refactor. Then git push you origin master. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, this organization, sorry. Okay, there is a that's we got it it's here it's done it took around 35 minutes a little bit longer but i think that it's satisfied so this is the end of the seminar as i said uh, if you have any questions anything you want to ask about how did they do it or any suggestion please leave me a message so thank you so much this is the end of all of the seminars and Upon your feedback, I'm going to decide whether to continue with different projects, with different screencasts. In this case, for to, toward to my research, which is about big data and distributing computing. So I have a lot of things to talk about. It's up to you. So bye bye.